It was a lengthy investigation that came to an end in September. It was a very lengthy, uh, several months long, uh, into a uh, horse neglect situation in the town of Montville. From there, the Department of Agriculture rescued nine horses and relocated them to a second chance rescue barn in Niantic. They've been receiving uh, veterinary care on a regular basis. And, and basically just being nursed back to, to good health. Prior to his role as chief animal control officer for the Connecticut Department of Agriculture, Jeremiah Dunn worked in law enforcement for 36 years. And he says this case has been one of the hardest he's had to deal with. I see, I saw a lot in my career and I've only been with the Department of Agriculture for just over a year. Uh, it was very, uh, it affected me. I mean, animals are don't have a voice, you know. We have to be the voice for the voiceless. So now it's time to find a new home for these beauties. There's been an overwhelming response to uh, to the adoption process. Uh, we've received several applications. In fact, the horse, I don't know if you can see uh, him behind me. His name is Bailey. He is the most requested uh, right now uh, horse that we have. In the initial seizure, nine horses were taken, but sadly, one had to be euthanized after endless attempts to get the horse healthy again failed. So right now, there are eight horses from this particular seizure and an additional two from another incident. We're still in the adoption process, the, the application process. Uh, it'll be going on until uh, March 5th. From there, applicants will be vetted by the Department of Agriculture to try to find the right match for the horses and their future owners. If you're interested in helping out but can't buy a horse, you can also help fund projects like this one. And we have all that information on our website, fox61.com. I'm Margot Farrell, Fox 61 News.